the be probably the best thing about uh, Wesleyan for me was being for I mean it wasn't really being forced to I loved watching movies right. but uh, watching tons of movies all different types of movies and not just watching them but actually thinking about them and engaging with them and talking to your friends about them and debating them with you which I still do to this day over email and stuff so um, and those are you know it keeps it, uh, it, it keeps kind of that muscle uh, it, it strengthens that muscle and I, I think it's important to be able to, especially if you want to have a career in film on the writing or directing side or the producing side, it's important to be able to look at a piece of material and then uh, kind of uh, analyze what does work, what doesn't work, how could it be better. Um, how did you become a screenwriter then? Because the AFI was accident, about... really, I guess. So uh, I went to AFI for directing. Uh, mm -hmm. AFI is, uh, I, I went there mostly because I applied to four. I applied to AFI, UCLA, USC, and NYU. I had a disastrous interview at NYU, which is for another day. And then I got into AFI, uh, and it's a, it's a discipline-specific program. So there's six disciplines. I think it's directing, writing, producing, cinematography, production design, and editing. And you just do whatever you got in. So I, got, I was accepted for directing. All I did while I was there was direct. It's not like I'm going and producing somebody else's movie or editing somebody else's movie. And so you make three short films your first year. You make a thesis your second year. Um, and it's really intensive. And it's, uh, there are like 28 other directors. Um, and I wasn't really writing that much. I wrote a feature length screenplay while I was there for a development class I was taking. And I wrote my thesis, which was like a 30 minute uh, political thriller. Mm -hmm. But then I wasn't really writing, I was just directing. But I knew coming out of school, I didn't really want to, uh, I didn't really see myself directing like music videos and, or commercials. And it, it's hard to get those jobs. That, the real jobs that pay anyway. So you kind of have to figure out when you get out of film school, what are you gonna do to kind of break into the system and what are you gonna do to make money? So I took these horrible day jobs and I started writing uh, a screenplay with a friend of mine from AFI who was another director. Uh, and we spent about, I guess, two years working on uh, this action comedy and he was teaching Lego robotics at the time, which was like the coolest day job you ever. You can teach that? You can teach that. In to California, who? they pay it like... Is that like kindergarten? Or no, yeah, kind of. It's like an after school program. He would drive around LA and teach little kids how to make robots out of Legos. Meanwhile, I was delivering food and I was working We're at Cedar Sinai Hospital. Now. Yeah, no, you don't... that Wesleyan. Yeah. No. But you could. Yeah. He, it would be Lego, perfect. Lego you've, you've got kids that are young, right? I mean, or now they're like yes. older now, I guess. 10 is the oldest. He would be into the Lego robots. I should hook you up. <laughs> um, but we would, at night, we would get together and work on the screenplay. And yeah. we would do it like four or five nights a week, and yeah. then we would work on weekends. You were working in a hospital. I was working, at, I was working in the minimally invasive urology department of yes. Cedar sinai Hospital. The pathway With to urology, Hollywood though, success. Minimally invasive is kind of where you want to be. Yeah, well, right. there's no such thing as kind of minimally it's invasive. Yeah. invasive. <laughs> it's all invasive when you're in the <laughs> urological department. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, we would get together at night, we would write, and then we, uh, after about a year and a half, I guess, we had finished uh, the screenplay. And the great thing about AFI, or at least for me, was I, by that point, had kind of a network of people who I really trusted uh, to look at the screenplay, other directors or writer friends of mine, and give us notes. And we would take their notes, and we'd do more drafts. And then eventually, we kind of passed it along to people I knew in the industry. And then we got a manager, and then kind of everything yeah. Rolled on from there, and we became professional kind of by default. Oh, I guess. right, you're professional. I guess. Is, you yeah, become you professional when they pay, when you sell it, yeah, and yeah. now we're writers. Yeah. It's very impressive. Yeah, I guess. 